Tom Brady coming into this week uh, in this game with the Packers said that he needed to control his emotions better. As a mental toughness and mental performance coach, I'd say that it's a good idea to tame your emotions. It definitely is. Um, Tom, I think, did a very good job at that. Actually, my methodology that I teach for that is a little bit different than most. But did Tom Brady, quote, lose it a few times? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Uh, as we'll see right here, he does lose it. And that's okay. But I'm just talking about from a mental game standpoint, I'm going to tell you why it's okay that he lost it again a few times. Overall, I think his, uh, his demeanor was just fine, um, especially at the end of the game when it was on the line. Uh, his team lost, uh, yes, but he did a nice job, certainly in terms of the mental game. The thing about Tom Brady is even though he thinks he needs to have better control over his emotions, uh, I've never seen him let him let it completely spin him out of control. And yesterday was no different. Tom is great uh, at the mental game uh, because he always implements, whether he knows it or not, what I call emotional resilience. It's a quality that all players at every level should cultivate. It can be practiced. It can be developed as a skill. Uh, Tom Brady's emotional resilience can be seen from the times that he seems to be losing it and losing control to when he possesses the calm and the uncommon resolve that we see most of the time of Tom at the end of games, that uncommon resolve to win. Some players have what Tom has in terms of the propensity to get intense and to let their emotions uh, get the best of them sometimes. Some don't. Some look like they're cool and calm all the time, although who knows what's going on inside their head. But for those that do, if that's you that has a propensity to get mad, here's what I would teach you. I'd say give yourself permission to get mad and upset. Within reason, of course, no throwing things or taking it out on your teammates. Uh, but set a time limit on it. Give yourself 30 seconds to be mad or upset. Now, that's not a hard and fast time. Come up with whatever works for you. But depending on your sport, uh, no more than a minute. Then take some physical action like re-snapping your headgear or redoing your batting gloves. Uh, what Some physical action, whatever it is uh, for you that you come up with. And take a deep breath and then do these three vitally important things. One, remember why you play. Remember why you play. I mean, really why you play. Recall your top values as a player, what's important to you as a player. And then turn your focus, number three, turn your focus back onto your team and your teammates having moved on from getting upset, having moved on from that, focus on your teammates and then on the next task that you have at hand that needs to get done. Emotional resilience for most, it doesn't come natural. But just like your physical skills, you can practice it, you can develop it, and you can implement it when you're playing. So remember, these, these things, emotional resilience, time limit, give a time limit, reset, reset with some sort of physical action, remember why you play, and then refocus on the task at hand that you have coming up and focus on your team and your teammates. Hey, like and comment the video uh, if you would. Uh, I uh, always uh, uh, welcome your thoughts and subscribe to my channel as well. And don't forget to also watch that next video that it's showing you right now.